press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi students, my name is S. Ujjanappa. I am going to teach you coordinate geometry. Before we study the topics which are included in class 10 syllabus, let us revise and recall whatever we have learnt on this subject coordinate geometry in your previous class. You know to locate a point in a plane a plane is required and two reference lines are required. The plane is known as Cartesian plane Cartesian plane or it is also known as coordinate plane. Coordinate plane. Now we shall draw the coordinate plane system. The board represents the plane and one horizontal line it is known as x x dash it is known as x axis and y y dash is the y axis. The point of intersection of x axis and y axis is called as origin its coordinates are 0 0 and to the right of y axis it is graduated with plus values 1 2 3 etc and x axis to the left of y axis we represent minus 1 minus 2 etc and above the x axis the y axis is graduated with plus values 1, 2, 3, etc. And below the x axis, it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Now, if P, X, Y is any point is any point in the coordinate plane, plane in the coordinate plane we represent it say this is point P x y. Now we have to understand what is x and what is y. Now you drop a perpendicular from point P to x axis, mark this point as m and draw a perpendicular to y axis from point P and mark this as L let us say. So, P x y represents the, the position of point P in the co coordinate plane where x means it is the x coordinate of point P, x is x coordinate of point P. 
the value of x is perpendicular distance from the y axis that is lp or om these two are one and the same om is parallel to lp so therefore this distance and distances are similar it is it is perpendicular distance from y axis the perpendicular distance of point p from a y axis is also known as abscissa it is also called abscissa so now the x here it is nothing but abscissa abscissa and the om distance om distance is x and that is nothing but abscissa and pm is y now the value of abscissa you can see here to the right of y axis is always positive so we call this as first quadrant the x axis and y axis divide the plane into four quadrants this is the first quadrant and this is the second quadrant in the anti clockwise direction second quadrant and this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant fourth quadrant so remember the value of abscissa that is the x values to the right of y axis is always positive here it is positive here it is positive and the value of x is negative here and it is negative here similarly the value of y is positive above the x axis and it is negative below the x axis and here it is above the x axis it is positive below the x axis is negative now the for, for any point for any point to the right right of y axis to the right of y axis abscissa is positive x value is always positive to the right of y axis is positive and to the left left of y axis abscissa is negative you can see x is negative here x is negative here abscissa is negative now now we have to understand about y y is known as y is known as y coordinate of point p and it is as you can see the perpendicular distance from the x axis it is 
perpendicular distance from x axis x axis this perpendicular distance of point phi from the x axis is known as ordinate it is it is called ordinate ordinate I'll write here this is ordinate so the x coordinate is abscissa y coordinate is ordinate now above the x axis above the x axis for above the x axis ordinate is always positive plus values we have here or here we will get so therefore above the x axis y values that is ordinate are positive and below the x axis below the x axis you can see below the x axis y value is negative and negative because the graduations are negative here okay so below the x axis y values are negative negative so now we have to understand what happens if the points are on x axis and y axis if they are not on x axis and y axis we have understood p x y x value is this horizontal distance y value is this vertical distance so now if points or on x axis and y axis what will be happen to the coordinates that we have to understand now so if a point is on x axis what happens you see when the point is on x axis the value of y becomes zero so that means the ordinate will be zero if a point is on x axis the y value the y value is zero so we say therefore therefore p x 0 is the coordinates coordinates for any point on x axis x axis for so we can say like this for any point on the x axis the value of ordinate is zero so for any point that is why y is zero for any point on x axis ordinate is zero so therefore whenever we get p x zero that means the point is on the x axis now if a point so in this sketch you can say the coordinates of m are you can see 
x coordinate is x and y coordinate is 0. So, therefore, m coordinates are x and 0 you can see. Now, if a point is on y axis, y axis, y axis, the value of x is 0. You can see, if the point is on y axis, there is no horizontal distance. So, therefore, x will be 0. Therefore, therefore, p 0 y is the coordinate is the coordinate for any point on y axis. Or we can say for any point on y axis the apsis is 0 because horizontal distance will not be there. So, we can say for any point any point on y axis apsis is 0. Apsisa is 0. So, in addition to this, you have to understand, I will repeat once again, these x coordinates and y coordinates, these two lines divide the entire plane into four parts. The first part is known as the first quadrant and in the anti-clockwise, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant. See, the first quadrant in the first quadrant both x and y values are positive and in the second quadrant x is negative, x is negative and y is positive and in the third quadrant both x and y are negative, in the fourth quadrant x is positive, y is negative and, and finally the point of intersection of x and y axis is known as the origin and it is because it is on x axis and as well as on y axis we will not get the values for x and y both are 0 therefore the coordinates of origin is 0 0. This is all about revision. Now we will move on to the topic included in class 10 syllabus uh, that is distance formula. So, the first topic in class 10 syllabus, distance formula. See, this we will study in two subheads under that first one is distance between
any point from the origin distance between any point from the origin so these are basic things you have to understand this very well to study the subject further now so let p x y be any point any point in the cartesian plane so in the cartesian plane if p is any point so we are supposed to find out the distance between any point from the origin so to find to find distance op so this is our task we have to find the distance op where p is any point in the cartesian plane so now what we have to do is we have to draw coordinates and mark point p so as usual this is x x dash x dash is the x coordinate y y dash and this is origin with zero zero coordinates so now if this is point p its coordinates are x y x y now draw a perpendicular from point p to intersect x axis at let us say m now join op join op so this is point o now we have to find the distance op so you can see here this is this is a perpendicular to the x axis pm is a perpendicular to the x axis therefore this is 90 degree we have a right angle triangle opm is a right angle triangle so here what we have to do is <coughs> mark point p mark point p in the cartesian plane cartesian plane so that we have done draw a perpendicular perpendicular i will write in sentence draw a perpendicular from p to intersect x axis at m at point m join op join op so now i will continue here from figure from figure what we can read omp is a right angle triangle you can see triangle omp triangle omp as angle omp equals 90 degree and we have om equals this distance this is the abscissa or x value and pm is ordinate it is y value so we have om equals x pm equals y so now 
by Pythagoras theorem so we have the hypotenuse whole square op square equals om square plus pm square you are well aware of this om square plus pm square now om is x so therefore op square is equal to om is x therefore we will get x square pm is y so we will get y square so therefore op equals square root of x square plus whole square so this is the distance op that means distance of any point p from the origin the formula is given by x square plus y square so from op square how we got op so we have taken square root both side we have this square root of a square will be equal to a square whole raised to the power 1 by 2 so that is equal to a so square root and square get cancel we will get a similarly the square after taking square root both side square root both side when we take square root both side square root and square get cancel we will get op and here we will get square root of x square plus y square so this is the distance of any point free from the origin this is square root of x square plus y square now we shall take up a uh, few examples to find the distance of points from the origin under this take some one example examples or example find the distance of following points from the origin so under that first one phi 3 coordinates phi 3 second one minus 4 3 minus 4 3 third one Minus four, minus four, and fourth one, three and minus three, three and minus three. Now we shall solve this problem. Let us take first one. So we can call this as point A, five, three. so now by distance formula what we have to find we have to find distance of this point a from the origin so therefore we call it as by distance formula we call it is oa by distance formula formula c distance formula general distance formula is between any two points we are now we are talking of distance formula between 
origin and any point. Any point. So we have this OA equals root of x square plus y square. This is very simple. This is phi is x value and this is y value. We simply substitute root of x is 5, 5 square plus y is 3, 3 square. You will get square root of 5 square is 25, 9 square is 3 square is 9. So, root 34. Now, for a better understanding, even you can locate this point in the coordinate. If you draw coordinate as both are positive, the point lies in first quadrant. So, you know that. See, x is positive, y is positive. So, the point A lies in first quadrant. This is 5, 3 let us say. And this is point O. So, O A. The O A distance is root 34. So, now, take up second one. Minus 4, 3. Let us call this as B. Minus 4, 3. So, here distance O B equals square root of x square plus y square by distance formula. Here x is minus 4, minus 4 whole square plus y is 3 square, 3, 3 square. Now, so minus 4 into minus 4 is plus 4. Minus 4 into minus 4 equals minus into minus plus 4 into 4, 16. We will get 16 only. So, therefore, root of 16 plus 3 square is 9 root of 25 or root of 25 is 5. So, therefore, distance OB equals 5. Now, this is x is negative and y is positive means it is in the second quadrant. So, therefore, B is somewhere here. B is minus 4, 3. Minus 4, 3. This is approximate marking a point. Say this is point B. Now, third one, minus 4, minus 4, you can call this as point C, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, minus 4, OC equals square root of x square plus y square. So, square root of minus 4 whole square and y is also minus 4, minus 4 whole square. This is 16 plus 16, root of 16 plus 16, root 32. See, both are negative here. See, as you know, it falls in the third quadrant. So, this may be point C, minus 4, minus 4. Now, finally, fourth one, 3, call this as point D, 3 minus 3. So, OD equals, distance OD equals root of x square plus y square. So, here the value of x is plus 3, value of x is plus 3. So, root of 3 square plus value of y is minus 3. So, therefore, minus 3 whole square. So, we know that plus 3 whole square is 9 as well as minus 3 whole square is also 9. Minus 3 into minus 3, 9. So, therefore, we get root 18. So, this is x is positive, y is negative. So that means the point is in the fourth quadrant. So, 3 minus 3. So, distance OD. So, this is how this marking is for your knowledge. Otherwise, to find the values, 
you can simply apply the formula and find out the distance. So, this is all about in this class. We shall take up the distance between any two points in the Cartesian plane in the next class. Thank you.